In this video, I want to talk about finding the variance of a linear transformation. Let's suppose we know the variance of a variable x is sigma squared, and we write a little subscript of x to remind ourselves which variable we're talking about. And we also know that y is equal to a plus bx, where a and b are numbers. In this case, the variance is going to be equal to b squared times the variance of x. In addition, the standard deviation will be the absolute value of b times the standard deviation of x. So let's look at a couple of examples of using this. Here I have a PMF for a discrete distribution. And let's suppose I also know that y is equal to 10x minus 12. I'm going to start by finding the variance of just this variable x. So I'm going to look at x squared p of x. That would be 0 times 0.1 is 0. 1 times 0 0.2 is 0 0.2. 4 times 0 0.2 is 0 0.8. And then 9 times 0 0.5 is 4.5. And then we need to add these variables up. When we do, we get 5.5. From there, we need to subtract the mean. So let's find that. This time, just x p of x. 0 times 0 0.1 is 0. 1 times 0 0.2 is 0 0.2. 2 times 0 0.2 is 0 0.4. And 3 times 0 0.5 is 1.5. This time, when we add them up, we get 2.1. So the variance for x is going to be 5.5 minus 2.1 squared, which is equal to 1.09. So my variance for y, this is given by b squared times the variance of x. So b is going to be equal to the 10. It's the number in front of x. So we have 10 squared times 1.09, or 109. Next, let's suppose y is u of a, b. So that is y has the uniform in a to b distribution. We're going to let x be the uniform distribution from 0 to 1. And we've already shown in a previous video that the variance of this is 1 over 12. We also have, this is a plus b minus a times x. So this was also discussed in a previous video. But this is how we move from the uniform distribution between 0 and 1 to the uniform distribution between any interval. So my variance for y is the number in front of x squared. So we have b minus a squared times the variance for x, 1 over 12. In other words, b minus a squared all over 12. 